The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Championship. What began as a boyhood dream has evolved into a staple of Shawn Michaels' reality. Well, Shawn Michaels has come a long way from the days when he trained with the legendary Jose Lothario back in 1984. What a storybook career. Emotionless, heartless, and hell-bent on absolute destruction. That, my friends, is the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. I've been calling Brock Lesnar's matches since he debuted here at WWE, and I have never been as frightened as I am when Brock Lesnar enters an arena. Brock Lesnar doesn't respect anyone in WWE or walking the planet Earth, nor should he have to. You're looking at the Beast Incarnate. I can honestly say today that that man, Brock Lesnar, has meant more to my career than anybody else because the night he delivered an F5, Byron Saxton had to go to the announce table and do solo commentary, and it was on that night where the world realized how good I really was. Introducing the challenger from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the Heartbreak King, Shawn Michaels! And introducing the champion from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, he is the WWE Champion, Brock Lesnar! That's what it's all about, the WWE Championship. The challenger wanted this opportunity, now he's got it. Well, it's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. The challenger had better sharpen his teeth. The WWE Championship has stood as the premier championship in professional wrestling. And tonight, we may see a new chapter in its storied history. Both champion and challenger are motivated by the biggest prize of them all. The man who lays claim to that title can call himself the very best competitor in this industry. Not looking good, guys. Oh, shoulder first. Hey, the ring just shifted. We know that Shawn Michaels isn't looking for a fair fight. He's looking for a fight he can win. How can we expect him to keep his opponents off balance? 
The biggest thing Michaels can do is take control of the pace and not let his opponent get on a run of offense. If he can own the tempo, it will be that much easier for him to bring in the band. I regret to inform you that Saxton is right. If HBK can take the lead now in this matchup, it'll pay out dividends for him in the long run. Michael's looking to put it all on. Incoming. Whoa! What a moonsault by Michaels! Brock Lesnar is about as unstoppable a superstar as we've ever seen. His losses are few and far between, and when they do happen, there's often controversy involved. I'll start with you, Corey. How do you conquer the beast? Well, Cole, it ain't easy, but Brock can be surprised. It took Goldberg all of 90 seconds to spear and jackhammer the beast and shock the entire world at Survivor Series in 2016. So, yeah, be as strong as Goldberg and take Lesnar by surprise. Not easy, but it has been done. This is gonna be big. Gonna fly. Oh, salt! Did you see that height? Corey brought up the lightning in a bottle scenario of surprising Brock Lesnar as we saw Goldberg do a few years ago. Byron, would you say any other strategy can work against the Beast? Well, the other men who handed Lesnar a high-profile defeat were John Cena and Triple H. Both men worked on Lesnar's midsection and scored lucky shots en route to victory. Though I should note that Lesnar followed up both of those losses by being completely dominant in the rematch. You can always just let the air out of his tires before he gets to the arena. Brock Lesnar starting to teeter. A change of strategy has to... Oh, look out! Whoa! What a moonsault by Michaels! And the raw emotion is just pouring out of Shawn Michaels. Hooked up. Uh... Inverted suplex. That hurt. The heartbreak kid going all out. He can't allow himself to let up now. Again, this one's for the most coveted prize in sports entertainment, the WWE World Title. For the championship! And Lesnar powers out. Not yet. Too early. Here we go, Shawn Michaels is in position. Oh, sweet! Here's the pin, title on the line! One, two, three! Haters of Shawn Michaels, get used to what you're seeing. How does one survive the beast? Here's your answer. sweat this one is over and with this win we set off what i predict will be an amazing championship run i like to think we just saw one of the greatest title matches in a very long time i hope you enjoyed it folks